Lord Hunt, David, thank you very much and welcome. Thank you for joining us in front of the House of Lords today. You served as a cabinet member to Margaret Thatcher and John Major. How would those two PMs fare today in a coalition government? Well, of course, Margaret Thatcher was running a coalition. It was called the Wets and the Dries. It was quite an exciting time to be involved and I was very proud to be there. John Major, of course, was in very different circumstances. And again, it was a bit of a coalition because he had a bit of trouble with what he knew affectionately as the bastards, who he once <laughs> described rather openly to the media, uh, three of his cabinet colleagues. So it was a bit of a coalition too. Mrs. Thatcher was indeed the Iron Lady. What, what sort of alloy do you think she'd be in today's government? Oh, she's a tremendous source of leadership. I was proud to be her coal minister. She appointed me halfway through the coal strike and I couldn't have asked for any better leader. I worked with her in the Falklands. I worked with her throughout her 11 years as prime minister, a great leader. The House of Lords has an image today where many people feel it's a bit of an outdated talking shop. How right or wrong are they? They're wrong because we're a great revising chamber. Our laws would be in a far worse state if it weren't for the many amendments which are put forward by experienced people, whether from industry, the judiciary, lawyers, accountants, etc., who really do propose sensible amendments. Tell us about your links with the Rotary Club of London. Well, I've been a member of the Rotary Club of London for a long time. I greatly admire Rotary's theme of service above self. But you know, what I find about the Rotary Club of London, most important of all, is it does bring you in touch with the real world. And my 34 years in Parliament have kept me in touch, perhaps with a little bit of a world outside the normal common sense world that most people live in. David, as a senior politician, what would you say to younger people who are considering becoming members of Rotary Club of London? Well, I think that they should join, get involved, discuss, sees the opportunities that Rotary gives them, not only to network, but to meet people from a huge variety of backgrounds. That's what's exciting about the Rotary Club.